And you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip. That's right. It's a homonym. It's right. Popular hot ass gossip. And we're two popular hot ass gossipers. gossipers. Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those D.L. Hughley shows that reach me, you fucking right, I'm gonna re- Hold on, I gotta make sure I get the right sign crazy for you, cause I'ma have- Girl, fuck them signs. I'ma have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in there and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can do that. Hey y'all, this is T.S. Madison. We need you to come out and join us for some good old hot, nasty fun for the Maddie in the Morning show live at the City Wine Bag. And baby, listen, it is going to be lit. And oh honey, ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or oh, come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you gotta do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. All right, y'all. August the 14th is our show here in uh, City Winery and ATL. And September 18th is our show at the City Winery in Nashville. Nashville. So we will be returning back to Nashville September. <laughs> 18th. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and don't forget, you can sign up for Pay For Your Say. There's a new promo code. It's scrolling at the bottom. Your promo code is FAGTALK125. It's FAG125? Well, yeah, what FAG about Maddie 100? Does that, does that still work? All right. Well, FAG125. I just asked. I didn't know. <laughs> it just came out the blue. All right. Well, Fag Talk 125 If you're talking to that FAG125, Tell your business. Craig, is that are those your nets or mine? These are mine. Oh, I'll have some of your nets. <laughs> <laughs> Most do. <laughs> I'm not most, I'm them and they. <laughs> um so Craig. Yes. You wouldn't have got down, you wouldn't have went down there and got you something to adjust for me. I'm going, no, I wouldn't have went down there for no just for me. <laughs> Not just for that. Craig, can, I, can you help me understand why black people don't show up when they're supposed to? I don't know. What is it? I really don't know. I really do think it, when it comes to voting, it's really about a lack of understanding of the voting process. I'm just saying in general. Well, girl, we are busy. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> No, Greg, I mean, just in general. It's I know, just black like, people are busy. We dude, deal with white people at work all day. They got to come home and they in the neighborhood getting on, getting on our nerves. I want to go back to... Trying to tell you where to park. I want to go back to that story. Which one? About that 16-year-old. We, we're not going to great... We're not going to... I'm not going to let that slide like that. Oh. But that little boy. Mm-hmm. So he and this woman are... What? They're dating. Now you know. No, she's dating him. She's molesting him. Well, I, I, apparently, from what I heard, is that they're in a state where the uh, the legal age. Is well, in Georgia, it's sixteen too. Yeah. Oh. Well, where's his mama? Mama. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> so you do know that if it was a um, if that was a man and a little girl, because what's different between that and R. Kelly? Hmm. Mm. What's the difference? <laughs> you good? Maddie? I'm just trying to figure out what... 
Is this a double standard? I mean, why y'all writing down that that's his mama? They said he ain't 16. Someone said he's not 16. That boy who is scamming people with taxes, him and his mama. Well, unless we get some proof, we don't know if, if that's what he does. You can just go by with the information we have. Well, it don't look right. Not at all. Not at all. That just don't even look right. Because if it was a man, why, why, why are people so, and even if it was a fag man dealing with an underage boy, it'll be given he's a pedophile. My question, Craig, is why are heterosexual people? You think it's going to shade? Go ahead. <sighs> Ooh, I'm trying to get it out right, Craig. You know, but I want to shut my hair right because this may go a little space. Why do heterosexual people over sexualize their children? Why do heterosexual people grow their children up so fast? Can you help me, Fag? Can I get an example? Um, Oh, he is so cute. He can be a heartbreaker. He's going to be a heartbreaker. You see him with his little girlfriend? He's going to have all the girls. He got all the girls now. It's three of them right now. We can't keep them girls from off of him. They be kissing. Is that your girlfriend? How many girlfriends you How got? How many girlfriends you got? Ooh. You so handsome. No, you got this. Yeah, I think we can. Hello? Hello? How y'all how y'all kids have boyfriends and girlfriends at six and seven years old and nine and three and ten and one? How y'all and going on dates in middle school and, going and, they, on can, dates and, and they can hardly read? <laughs> they can't even pass the minimum basic skills test. That means they can hardly read. <laughs> what your class said? Right. Huh? I love that lean on me. Hey, hey, excuse me, straight. We calling y'all to the uh we just call it, we just need to ask. We got a few questions. From the from the queer community to your yeah, community. From the queers. Because y'all don't understand nothing about us, so we always have to explain it. Yeah, we want to maybe y'all can explain this to we, us. We I need some we need some clarity because communication is our partner. And clarity is our friend. So we need some clarity. Ah, oh, don't say. Yeah, you can tell your son he handsome, but how many girlfriends? I, 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 how you? You're conflating what we said. Yeah, that's, don't do that. Come on, we didn't say that you couldn't say he's cute. Oh, handsome. He's handsome. We didn't say you couldn't do we that. We said, oh, he handsome. He gonna have all the girls. He gonna be a heartbreaker. Stop. Come on, think critical. Come on. Stop trying to play with us. Come on, cause that sound like grooming. You picking up what we putting down? Yeah, you know it. You know we what we said. We know we have a valid question. Right. You're now deflecting. Is that the heterosexual agenda? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. They trying to you're trying to ensure that he's gonna be straight. straight. Yes. Craig, that's what it is. You want to make sure that there ain't no homosexuals coming in there. So you all right with them having a little girlfriend and, and they kissing and carrying on and stuff and going on dates and things. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna ensure. Oh, that. okay. You say not all parents are like that. Mm, majority well, well, are. Well, we're not talking about the ones that aren't. We're talking about the ones well, that, that are. are. Stay on topic. Don't, 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 don't stay, deflect. Stay on topic. You all are starting to sound like Mo when we talk about men. Yeah. What do you mean? How? We're we, 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 we gonna, we, we gonna get on that soon. When, so when, when, when we start talking about a cultural prevalence of men. You oftentimes will say, no, well, no, not all. Well, we're not talking about all. We're talking about the majority because there's a cultural prevalence. I, the only thing is just I don't think is majority. That's it. We'll I talk just, about that soon, but we on this. We asked for them, oh, not you. I want that video up there, though, because we talk about it. sexualizing. I got it. Okay. Because I, I want to stay in that same neighborhood. Yeah. I got it. It's in there. 
Because see, what happens is little boys end up growing up and being over-sexualized, like you said. Uh huh. And so a lot of times that's where you get into the neighborhood of young boys and grown men not knowing how to accept no when a woman says no for sex or not being able to handle rejection when a woman is on a train or walking down the street or at her job, she, he can't accept no. That's why so many women would choose the bear over the man. Cause she, she feels safer in the company of a bear than a man. A man is more unpredictable than a bear, according to a lot of women. Those aren't my words. Those are the words of a lot of women. But I do agree. We got, we don't got no, we don't have no, wait, we got some answers, Craig. Where? We got some answers. Well, where? where? So, oh, I like, well, I like this woman said, as a heterosexual black woman. Come up. Okay. It was up this way. I, I'm just trying to y'all fly it's y'all fly to me, baby. Right. Uh, so where where people are saying uh, but people are saying true. Um we can find uh, uh, hold, on. hold on, no, no, black pyramid. I want to put black pyramid down there. Black Pyramid is saying it's not just the straights. A lot of gay black men I experience don't know how to accept no. Right. You're right. Right. You're right. You're absolutely right. But right now we just asking a lot of the, the we asking a lot of the straight because you know we have a large straight following. Right. And we just be trying to be clear. I we, we want some understanding. Cause we get we we got whole we got whole pastors in church talking to, talking politics because we are exist. We got whole pastors in church talking politics because we exist. So I just want to understand. Because in the church, you know, it's a lot of things go on in that in that by that institution. It's a lot of shit going on in there. That's another thing that the church needs to apologize to the queer community about violating young boys and girls bodies in the church in the church the basement of the church after hours at the church the church camp the church convention the church retreat i think church is so is so obsessed with sexuality sexual orientation sexual idea they just so obsessed with it because that's where a lot of sex happens there in the church among the church members. I want to go back and then y'all answer the question in the comment section after the show's end. How many of y'all at, at 9 and 10 or 12 and 14 or, 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 or even early as 7 you're so first your first you're so handsome so you got a lot oh look at that he got some i gotta go out to that school he got so many girlfriends out to that school he got so many women's at that school why he can't have a boy <laughs> i had asked this question when y'all was having a zaya wave when we was going through that zaya wave real big zaya wave debacle mm -hmm. i had asked the question so Y'all can understand a little boy and a little girl being boyfriends and girlfriends at a young age, but y'all can't understand Zaya knowing who, what she is. Y'all can understand that a little boy and a little girl know their sexual orientation or their or their identity, but you can't understand. Oh God! Uh, There's too many children, baby. I'm trying to tell you. 
I am trying to tell you. So I want y'all later on in the show, after the show's ended, and y'all get down in the comment section. Mo, you make sure you chop this up because this going to be its own area. Okay. In the comment section. Cause I'm confused. I'm my, I'm scratch. I'm confused. Cause they be typing everything else down yeah, there. They do. I'm confused. <laughs> Cause they they be understanding. And I don't know what's going on with New York. This, this whole sexualized thing that we're talking about with boys and men. What is with y'all up here? And listen, I said this the other week too, and y'all were like, "Okay, enough on New York." Now it doesn't just happen in New York. Cause we saw them children in that park and I believe that was probably Atlanta. Now I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when that young man was holding on to that pole and he was getting plowed out. Craig, when I tell you they tore you up, did you go back and read the comments? I, I don't give a fuck about those comments. No, I do not. Cause you've already said what you said. I sure did. And don't give a fuck what they got to say in response. Because Craig, they said you did come out very judgy. Oh, okay. That's fine. Is there more nuts in here? Yeah. Keep your ass out the park. There were more nuts at that light pole. They said it was a lot of nuts in that light pole. <laughs> and, and, and it was actually a lot of nuts inside that person that was holding that light pole. Several, and, they, and they had nuts of their own. Right. Several different DNA. If he was a woman, he wouldn't have known who had impregnated him. He wouldn't have known whose cum it was. Do you hear me? He'd have been down at Maury talking about, I don't know who the father is. I was at the park, park one night, leaned over on a pole, holding on. And I don't even know who came behind me because I had a COVID mask on. But it really wasn't for COVID. It was really to protect my identity. 